know some of you guys like the uh, midnight rides and stuff like that, so I'm going to take you on one. This will be the first one for the uh, Turex SLE 2002. It's about 9 o'clock at night. Pretty dark out, slushy, snowy roads as you can see. up into a uh, slip four wheel drive. I just stopped and uh, went out for a little run to get some groceries and stuff. So, uh, yeah. But this Turex, man, it's pretty loud when you're driving and stuff, but yeah. So far, uh, the machine is uh, living up to my expectations. The only complaint, and a lot of people have the same complaint, is that it's really noisy in the cockpit. So, yeah, that's something you might want to consider. If you don't mind, uh, if you don't mind it being loud, a little bit obnoxious. It's uh, really geared low for uh, rock crawling and stuff like that. It has a lot of low end torque. Uh, the uh, diff lock works good, but you can't go over 15 miles an hour or else it starts uh, engine braking on you. And uh, so you have to stay under at least about 12 miles an hour uh, if you're going through some really, really muddy stuff. It's meant for low end torque, getting you out of sticky situations, same with the uh, slip four wheel drive. So, yeah. As you can see, 9 o'clock, there's still a lot of traffic out here. It's going about 13 miles an hour. I'm just glad the camera isn't reflecting off the glass of the windshield. I know you guys are having a hard time hearing me from uh, the other videos I uploaded last night. I hope you enjoyed those. Yeah. There's our bus stop in the anchorage. It's just one little bus stop. Got to travel down here, get on the bus, go to, uh, and then go to uh, anchorage from there. of Wasilla in the Meadow Lakes area. Things have really changed along the highway here as far as what businesses had to close down because when they built the highway out here a lot of people lost their businesses and had to sell out for a right away to the state so they could widen the park's highway and that had another two lanes to it. Yeah. No. My buddy Dave family owns that and they uh Dave took me down there last yesterday to pick up my ATV from uh, Eagle River where I got it. circumstances in my situation as to why I can only drive an ATV to get around 
or rely on other people. If, uh, if you stick around uh, the middle of the hippie channel long enough, you'll get to understand who I am, what I'm about, where I came from, and, stuff, and why I do what it is I do.
much to see, just uh, trees and a messed up back road. A lot of junkies used to come back here, shoot dope, smoke crack, do all kinds of crazy shit back here. Pass out behind the wheel, all kinds of shit. Yeah, cops come back here once in a while. Check it out. It's just a road that's out of the way. Not too many people travel it or even know about it. So, yeah. I thought I just saw something across the road up there. Might be rocky. You really can't see over there. You don't really see what's in front of you. Got a bunch of big ruts ruts in the road here but I'm in four wheel drive machine's taking it pretty good I got some extra weight in the back with my groceries but I got water back there they weigh about 30 pounds a piece so you get about 100 pounds of groceries in the back that's helping a little bit with track and stuff so Coolio right right on that one Boom. Hope you guys liked uh, my uh, little videos. I just wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared yesterday for doing videos. I just uh, shot what I could and uh, tried to get my ATV home the best way I could. I hope you can see the lights from way over there. But I'm gonna go over on that other hill across there. Just watch the way I go. I don't know if you can see that. You see that light right there? That's the hill I live on. We gotta go down the road this way, go up the road that way. We gotta go down this way and then cut up the road up here on the left and then just go up over the hill. Turn left and find the belt. Sky's blue lights. Green ones, not so much. Blue ones, yeah, I like the nice color.
close to the Hippie Hut. Gotta go over here and unload his groceries. Then I'll go finish putting together the uh, Hippies Musicians montage for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Ah, we are back. We say love the Sippy Grease. Hope you enjoyed the little uh, nighttime ride. And uh, don't forget that uh, Tuesday I need some live performers if you, uh, you want to perform. I uh, need at least uh, three more people. And if I don't get it, uh, I just don't have a show on Tuesday. So there's nothing going on Tuesday if I don't have anything uh, live going on. And then the only two shows coming from my channel will be Sunday and uh, Friday. Uh, the 907 and Hippie Positions Montage. The Tuesday Community Hang is uh, just that. It's still a community hang, but it's in the form of live music instead of uh, pre-recorded videos and stuff. So bring your live stuff, uh, step up, bring your A-game, and uh, boom, let's show the community what you got, man. I'm going to sign out here, and uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Always hit it when you come into the Hippie channel. I appreciate it. And if you watch the whole video, just uh, put Shazam in the comments, man. <laughs> Later, people. Rock on, man. Please, rock on, rock on, rock on. Boom. <laughs>